it was tricky for the Voltus Pi because they're iconic. You know, but uh, quick rundown lang. Uh, the best thing I could remember is that when I saw Radson starstruck, I said, there's my Mark Gordon. Okay? He, he looked it. He looked he looked like the anime. The, the kilay and, and all. So I wanted him to audition. So I was biased already. But serendipity runs in this whole production for so many reasons. One is, what were the chances that Radson already knew how to ride a horse since he was a young boy. So we didn't have to make him do, go through training. So once we had the seats with the horse, it was second nature to Radson. Uh, Miguel, you know, he grew up in my eyes with all our projects. And then when the, the network was saying, was eyeing him for Steve uh, uh, Armstrong, it was like a shoe in a, yeah, he fits the part. See, si, si, uh, Isabel, I mean, I was looking for a, you know, tough act on Jamie Robinson, you know. She is a, you know, she is a kick-ass girl, you know. But if you know her lineage, I mean, that says it all. So, when he, she took up gymnastics and then she took up martial arts training to, uh, prior to our, you know, when we started. So, she, she really delivered us Jamie Robinson. Like what Trap said, he was a shoe-in. Uh, we didn't have time to audition. He was the he was the apple of the eye of of, of the of GMA management, and he was given basically he was given the role of Little John, and I definitely agree, you know. So there's no problem. See, si, see, si Matt, I knew him because I I know his mother, and we worked with so many projects, you know, behind the camera. But when he auditioned, and I know he was determined, and he was training, and he was not a, a big bird at that time. He was. <laughs> A bit big, but not as hefty as we need. So when he got the part, Matt, this is the best thing I'm going to tell any actor. Eat. Eat all you want. So, you know, so he fits the role as, as Big Bird. You know, but uh, I know he's going to shed his pounds after Volta's five because he's been dying to lose weight. And then we have, you know, uh, bonus na lang. Na they all sing, you know. So uh, Matt singing the My Father's theme song at the end. Uh, he's doing that, uh, and then we're at Ayn Crystal to sing the love theme also. Uh, so you know they're they're multi-talented cast. So it was very uh, fun for for us to cast. You know, ang hirap eh kung iconic yung character in anime. How do you how do you how does that transfer to live action? Gabby was easy. People were saying that Gabby is not old enough to play uh, Commander Robinson. Yeah, but he, he just he just has a baby face, but he has how many children already? And you know, and then there was this Japanese reaction video. The minute that he came out, they go, Oka, Oka, Oka. That's the name of General Robinson in the Japanese uh, version. So automatic, they 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 knew. Then Neil Ryan says, eh, the alamat. We like to finally call him the alamat. The minute that I was looking for Dr. Hook, Miss Helen knows it, I was listening to any other name because I knew Neil was going to be able to deliver that part for Dr. Ho. You know, with uh, Carla again, she was also, we wanted her and of course with Dennis, but it was so funny, uh, actually in God's time, eh, uh, Dennis was still doing uh, Legal Wives. No? So, eh, mag-uumpisa na kami, abot na kami sa part ng Dr. Armstrong and then there was more pandemic uh, uh, alert levels, na-delay nang na-delay yung shoot until Pwede na. So, pwede na si Dennis. So, we were able to shoot the first part of our uh, Dr. Armstrong. And then, there were more delays that happened. He took on uh, Chrysostomo Ibarra and in Maria Clara and Ibarra. So, we had to wait. We, we just needed it for one more day to finish the, the, the series. So, ganyan po kalayong inabot ng Voltus 5 na may, may tatlong shows nang dumaan ang bumalik si, si Dennis sa amin para masarado. You know, and then um, Martin again was a shoe in. The minute that he auditioned for Zardos, I said, "Oh, ha, ano pa pa tayo iba?" You know, you know, it was it was easy. His monologue, you know, it was hard. It's hard to be a bad guy, but people will have to have empathy with you. He was able to deliver that monologue, sure ball. L Lizelle was she was like flirting with me the entire process, so she got the part. You know? uh, she was sexy and also she got the part definitely. Of course, she delivered with the acting, of course. Carlo, uh, we needed someone tall. And then I didn't want to go uh, too cliche in the anime, uh, dark and then goonish type. See, ano, 
si Draco. Uh, so, I said naman the, the Buzenia, especially the, the elite Buzenia, mga mistisot mistisa yan. So, we got Carlo for the part. Then, he worked out so bad before the part, before we started. Talagang todo yan. Patak na patak yan. Then, he saw his costume. Nothing was seen in his body. He said, hinong naman eh. Wala pa na may kita dito eh. Eh, okay. At least you're in shape. You know, and then, uh, last of the principal characters, Epi. Epi was a shoe-in. Uh, no other person that in mind also that I wanted to do Zul. And you should see Epi. The chemistry of Epi with with uh, these three, ang saya, ang sarap panoorin ng, uh, ng uh, mga Buzenians. Kaya nga sabi ko eh, uh, you will love to hate them, but you will hate for you, you hate yourself for loving them. Because ang ganda ng chemistry nila. Yo. Thank you so much, Derek, and congratulations.